Breaking news, you don't want to be caught jugging. What's jugging? Well, that's when somebody follows you after you've withdrawn a large amount of money from your bank. See, Ray, what have you got for us today with breaking news? Oh, man, this is a sad story. We've got a, a clip it here from the news interview of this guy, but basically what happened, he had found the woman of his dreams. He was going to get married, but he didn't want to uh, acquire any debt in the wedding that she deserved, from what he was saying. So, uh, let's get to the clip. I mean, that's yeah, I mean, an awesome guy. If, if yeah. I had a wedding um, venue, I would fund it for him. Let's go to the interview right now. It hurts hitting this close to home, and it's something you never thought would happen. Kevin Motzinger says he and his fiance Taylor have been saving for the past two years to pay for their September wedding in cash to avoid going into debt. And I sold a vehicle that was in the family. I've gotten rid of my toys from when I was younger, everything I could to scrape up for this to give her what she deserves. Friday afternoon, the 30 year old says he drove to this Chase Bank on Westheimer and Woodland Park Drive in West Houston to withdraw $30,000 in cash to make a wedding payment. Motzinger says he then drove to his second bank located at Westheimer in South Kirkwood, a half a mile away to make another withdrawal. Motzinger says he parked his truck in one of these spots to run inside of the bank. Surveillance video will show a white car pulling up right next to him, and then you'll see the thieves act. I was inside this bank for less than five minutes, and during that time, with my mother directly in her vehicle, directly next to mine, uh, it looks like two guys pulled up in their car, smashed my back right window, and uh, took everything I had saved out of my console. If you look closely, you can see the thief's legs dangling outside of Motzinger's truck as he grabs the cash out of the center console and causing damage to Motzinger's window. Motzinger says he believes the thieves followed him, and in some way, the thieves weren't the only ones lucky. Other instances I've seen and heard about, um, it seems if I would have went home, I could have been around my family. Who knows what they could have done to me and or my family. So in a way, I'm blessed that it happened here in a public place where the only thing harmed is my vehicle. Very unfortunate, but uh, let's, let's think about the breakdown of this. You know, you've got a situation and basically, you've either got someone in the bank, which I'm, I don't think that was the case, but in the jugging against this, they're just studying body language. A person goes in, they come out with an envelope. Well, if you're in the bank, what's going to be in the envelope? Yeah. Or a person comes out and they've got a pocketbook and they've got it wrapped up like a headlock. Well, you know they're telling that something of value is there. And the only thing they did is, and we've got a couple other videos where they followed them home and did a home invasion. So just a crazy uh, new thing they call jugging, but we all need to be aware of it. Yeah, and, and well, and definitely be, be able to read others and see if they're monitoring us. And uh, because then obviously we need to avoid any contact with them and make sure that we mislead them or, or one of the recommendations I've seen is you need to head towards a police station and uh, throw them off before going home. They actually had a second person with them, his mom, and the guys broke in. And if you notice, they went in and out of the window. You, you know why? If they why? opened the door, the alarm would have went off. Oh, okay. So they went in and out. That's why he jumped up. It'd be easier to unlock the door and open it, but the alarm would go off. So and that mom was in the car on the other side, so she wouldn't even known they were doing it. No, nope, that nope. oh okay. It, it, a, a quick a quick little pick, and the window's shattered. He goes in, gets it, and gone. Wow. Crazy. Wow. So a lot to learn from this one, you know. And you just gotta be when you're removing those monies, you gotta act like that you don't have anything. And also, it's worth. Let's say that we're gonna leave. Let's leave. And let's come mm -hmm. right back. Circle the bank and uh, did anybody follow me? Right, right. You know, is that paranoid? I don't know. But if, if you can keep your money and it's worth knowing. Or, you know, go through several stoplights and see if the same cars are around you or see if similar, yeah. you know, see if you are being followed. Yeah, it's, it's worth thinking about and being aware. Anyway, this breaking news is very tragic. I hope somebody jumps in and helps them out with the wedding. Remember, one life, stay ready.